Well, we've always thought that our brain shapes us, but what I really wanted to get across when I wrote this book, The Woman Who Changed Her Brain, was that we can actually shape our brain, that we can change our brain. This book came out of my own personal story and my own personal challenges. Uh, I was born with very severe learning disabilities, and this was in the 1950s, and at that time there wasn't even a, a term learning disability. I did not understand when people talked to me. I had a good auditory memory. I could play it over and over again but never in real time. I could never understand anything in real time and that was incredibly painful and isolating. It was when I was in graduate school studying school psychology and no accident given that I was again trying to find out what wasn't working for me. Um, I came across the work of Alexander Luria, a brilliant Russian neuropsychologist and he was studying what went wrong with the brain when there was injury and he followed uh, a very specific patient, a man named Szezetsky, who had a very localized brain wound. And when I read this book called The Man with a Shattered World, it was like, oh my God, I'm reading my life on the page. Then I came across another line of research coming out of um, Berkeley, a brilliant man named Mark Rosenschwag, and he was working with rats. And he was finding that if you stimulated rats, um, they learned better and then the brain changed. They grew more dendrites, more neurotransmitters. So I had to believe that humans had more neuroplasticity than rats did. So I thought if, if we can make rats' brains better, why can't we make a human's brain better? And I was very interested in making my brain better. So I put the two lines of research together. I created my first cognitive exercise and sure enough, it, it made a huge difference in my life. I created Aerosmith School over 30 years ago and my vision was to, to create a school based on the brain and on neuroscience and really to allow these children to have a different possibility to open up the pathways in the brain so that they could not only dare to dream but really realize their dreams. My wish for this is that it helps people understand themselves better, helps people understand others and that it changes the way we look at the brain.